So here I have the uh, 2008 Saturn View, and uh, I got some check engine lights I need to take care of before I sell this thing. Hang on. So follow me. I have. I have. I don't know, I don't know how well you can see that. I have the intake camshaft position sensor bank two error code and the exhaust camshaft position sensor bank one um, there's an engine misfire detected but that's just due to uh, me fucking around with it a lot so exhaust bank one intake bank two I have two I'm wondering if I should just um, replace them all I might just do that I'll probably just do that. It's going to push me back a day or two so I can order some more. But I think that'll be fine. So now, they're going to be over here. Over here somewhere. So I think they're going to be under this box here. So we're going to, I'm going to remove this here. That's just popping that off there. A uh, couple eights, the mass airflow sensor, and then yeah, take uh, take this off and then this box off, and hopefully that's enough space for me to get access. This is bank two up front and bank one in the back. So yeah, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's how it is. So all odds on bank one and all evens on bank two. Just gonna get the mass airflow sensor. So now I think these are eights. So we're just gonna do, I think eights. Whoa, dang! I get for buying a cheap all-in-one kit. So now I'm gonna see if I can get to those sensors, which I guess are these right here. Honestly, let's see if we can see them. I think it's gonna be this one right here. That one right there, and then this one back here that's covered in oil. I don't know if you can see it. Right there, that one. And I assume it's gonna be the same for this side. Uh, that one right there, and then subsequently another one under this guy. So I might have to remove this, but I don't know yet. I definitely gotta remove this so I can gain access. Looks like one, two. Looks like two bolts it was like I don't know if those are tens or not okay so I should be able to reach these actually without much of an issue unless this is a bitch right here that might be it right here I think these are the I think these are the I don't know if you can see I think these are the variable variable controls I think that's the variable, the VVT right here, and I think this is my cam sensor right here, but I guess I think that's one right here, and I think this is another one right here. I guess we'll figure it out, huh? And I think these are the the valve timing solenoids. Same thing with this one. This one's going to be kind of a pain because this bracket here is going to be in the way, but we'll, we'll see what we see, huh? All right, guys. So it is. It is right here. Shit, I don't know if you can see it. Fuck. Stand by, stand by. So it is right there. These are tens. So that's probably the intake one right here, and then the exhaust one is down here. Down here, oh, right at the tip. I don't know if you can see the hole. Well. I'm going to, this is probably the intake, that's the exhaust. So I'm going to switch them out and see what happens because I bought, I went on Amazon and I got the wrong ones. They look similar. They look similar, but not it. So the connectors are slightly different and won't enter. So I'm just going to see what we can do here. Hopefully this will be... I order the new ones and I'm just gonna replace I'm just gonna replace all four I think that's exactly what I'm doing I'm just gonna replace all four because I don't think they're that expensive and just be easier than doing this over and over again so I'll be back in a few days whenever I get the 
the new crank, the new sensor. In. So, as it turns out, the bank two ones are going to be a pain in the ass to get to. So, so this is the the camshaft sensor, but you see the bolt, the ten, it won't let you pull it all the way out because of this brace here, this big old brace. This one on the back. This one, that big old brace. So it won't let you. So I can't get this brace off with these big ass, with these big ass bolts until I take this off with the motor mount, the engine mount. These three off. These three, those two, I have to support the engine while I do it, and then take off these those bolts right there. Otherwise, I won't be able to change out either this intake one or this exhaust one. So I'm gonna I'm do this. I haven't received the parts yet, I, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get it done so that way whenever they're here tomorrow, I can just get it all buttoned up. All right guys, so we're gonna remove, let's see if you can see it now. These three, one, two, and three, those bolts there. I have the engine supporter from the bottom. These are 15s. scissors so now I need to get this guy off of here to see what size these bolts are out of 15 17 17 nope it's gonna be the same 18s so let's see if I can make it happen So I'm just going to break them loose, hopefully, with the breaker bar and an 18. Get the last loose. Get this one. That ain't going to work. Got to turn this around a little bit. Let's try it now. Something different for each and each of these. Alright, so the swivel 18. Actually, that's all I need. Just the two, the two front ones and the loosen up the last one. So that just fell out of place. It's excellent. Now I have access to this bolt here. This. I can pull this out. Give it the old pull out. There it is. There it is. So this is the intake one. This is supposedly the bad one. And then we have the other 10 right here. So that's supposed to be the the good one according to the the codes I know I'm gonna hear well you're just throwing parts at it you're right I am you're absolutely right I am throwing parts at it it is what it is so I'm just gonna throw parts at it I mean it's relatively cheap parts uh, I want to say the ignition coils were 50. The crankshaft position sensor was another 15. All four of these is 20 ish. And uh, yeah, the old pressure sensor I ordered is another 10. So it's not terrible. 
Well, there it is. So now, tomorrow, I'll put it back in, button everything up. We'll be good to go. All right, guys. So it's been a couple of uh, a couple days. Uh, it's been raining a lot here. So what I'm going to do here, I don't know if y'all can see what the hell I'm looking at. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Uh, we're going to put one, two, three, one, two, three, four sensors in. Camshaft position sensors. I ordered these on um, Amazon. I want to say it was like 30 bucks for four of them. Uh, how good they are, I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. But these go out just the same way they can these go in just the same way they came out so just to find the hole line it up push it in to get past that o-ring and then uh, cinch it down hopefully this shouldn't be too bad then we're gonna have to resecure this guy here and uh, then the motor mount so we can get this looking get this looking right Shit. Found the hole, guys. Don't worry. Let's see. That should work. Probably not the best way to do this the way I'm doing it, but we're going to figure it out. I know it goes in there, just this one want to. Let's see. Let's give it a little bit of little bit of help nope you see that went at an angle so that's not good so let me loosen this up a little bit there we are loosened up a little bit Let's see if I can finagle this in there like okay that's straight in now let's give it a shot That's not right. I don't think that's right. Oh, fuck. Son of a biscuit. Did not think this through. So that's what happens when you're not paying attention. I've unscrewed it. Now I can't get this thing out. So we're going to... See if I can get this. There it is. Ooh we that have sucked. That would have sucked a big one. That was small. I think the screw here is bottoming out. Not going all the way in. So, so that's one of my issues here. So on the exhaust side, these long ones don't work. This, do I have shorter ones? I do have shorter ones. That's what it is. That's my issue. And these are shorter ones for the ones in the back. Got it. See if I can send it. Might need a so hopefully I can hammer this in there a little bit. Or not, it might not. 
Oh, it did. Good. Now, I'll hammer this in a little bit. There we go. Now it sits flush. And then let's reconnect these connectors here. That one's good. That one there is good. Maybe. There's that one. Now we gotta put the motor man back on. Oh no, I gotta put these back on. Now we're gonna do the air box with the hose and the mass airflow sensor. Let's do that. I think the, I think that was a 10. It rained a few nights, so making sure there's no water in this thing. But why'd you leave it up? Shut up, that's why. I just gotta line this up back there. There it is. Oh, fuck, I keep hitting that camera on that thing. But I guess it is what it is. I think these are gonna be the tens that I was that I was confusing. Yeah, I think so. I think these are gonna be the tens that I was confused about. Alright, so I kinda dried it up. I'm sure there's still water in there, but. I'm gonna dry up with the heat because I don't wanna wait for our lives to be over. Fuck me, come on. Piece of shit. There it is. In, in. That's going again. Alright, let's try it out. It's probably gonna split for a little bit because there's. Um, Alright, so I just did a. I just cleared the. Um, I'm sorry? Is it okay for him to be on your Absolutely. Hi, monkey. What's that? It's a camera. Can you close? Yeah, you can go inside. I got it. Can you close the door? You gotta come on this side. You gotta go around. Must my help son's gonna come out here. Help me out. Quick erase everything. In the car? In the car, yes sir. Right. So I got my son with me here. I've erased all the codes, anyone that's available, anyway. Cycle the key off, cycle it back on. So we, Are you gonna go? we got no codes. Let's let it run, Let's see what happens. Push the lower. You gotta push that. You gotta push that? Yeah. Okay, we'll push that. Hmm. So I have cleared out the codes. Um, now I need to. I'm gonna take it for a quick test drive. Hopefully that doesn't come back on for the camshaft. I know I have bad catalytic converters. Um, I think. Well, I guess I don't know. I think I have bad, bad catalytic converters. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. If we get to it. Tis what it is, I guess. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all following out, following along, and that's how you do the camshaft position sensors, I guess. Thanks. Bye.